Good evening, Ow. everyone. Welcome to the second... God, we had a live launch last week, and we're back with another oh, one. Wow. But this is the final live launch of 2020. Sad. We still have got the Alexam Christmas party uh, that's going to go on. I will be announcing the date for that very soon. Um, but this year will be slightly different on the Christmas party because it will all be happening on Facebook and YouTube. And you're all welcome to join us, totally free of charge. Come along, have a great time. We are going to be giving away oodles of magic. Oodles? And oodles of magic yes. on the night, freebies. Um, and we will be joined by some of our Alakazam family and friends. 100%. Uh, so we will let you mm. in with the date very, very soon. Absolutely. So, guys, as per usual, um, obviously, yeah, welcome to the live launch. It is the last live launch of the year. Um, but let us know if you are... <laughs> what Sandy just said. Uh, let us know where you're watching from. And oh. also... Oh. oh! Oh! Where was he? He's hiding. Oh, whereabouts is he then in the house? <laughs> um, so, yeah, a big um, shout out to everyone who's joining us. Uh, let us know if you've been on to a live launch before. They're always good fun. The guys in the chat will let you know. Um, and, yeah, so uh, we've got uh, Joachim from Germany. So, hello. Um, hello. Oh, sorry. You can take that one down then. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> um, but, I yeah. actually set one of these up for us but just uh, a big shout out to everyone who's joining us anyway they're always good fun oh my gosh what oh, oh. look at those cheeky there's a few new releases oh. up there if you can see future releases coming out so. and you haven't got that one on there either no mm. um so guys uh the way tonight's gonna work is as per usual like with our live launches we got jamie Dawes here this is Jamie Dawes' brand new effect. It is an effect that we have been working on for quite a while. Um, we're really pleased to bring it to you. So um, I'm going to bring Jamie on in a moment. At around about, it's now five past, at around about quarter past, we will give you the premiere of the trailer to Clued Up so you can see the performance. We will then answer any questions. You will then be able to purchase it if you like. Yep. And if you purchase it, um, you will gain access to the after show party, which will happen at five past eight sharp. Okay. And it will run till about ten to nine. Lovely. Um, also, is it going to be recorded? Uh, we may record it, yes. Okay. Okay. But, guys, as you know, any sort of great ideas that come out of it, uh, we'll always record and upload anyway, um, just because that's how we do things. Yeah. Um, and in the after show, we will do a live unboxing of Clued Up to tell you what you get. We'll also give you the code so you can start watching the instructions before it turns up. Clued Up is in stock and it is being shipped out tomorrow. Yes. And it is available in both sizes yeah pro and poker and we do have a buy together and save 10 percent deal on them perfect we'll give All you right. more info on that and obviously it's free worldwide shipping uh, just to quickly give a shout out um don hendrix is watching from the american wild west from ah, hi, uh, don. i think it's tuscan but tucson arizona we have got quite a few of our american friends uh, yep. watching us tonight which Bert's, is great Bert said it's snowing in pennsylvania oh wow. we're we're they, they did say we're going to have snow this weekend, but whether it happens or not, Absolutely. nobody knows. So, shall we bring our yeah. dear friend... Let's do that. Mr. I can see him there. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready, Jamie. There oh, is. A There's double a, thumbs up. A double thumbs up from Jamie Dawes. <clears throat> Headphones in. Yeah. And off we go. Jamie Dawes. Hola. Hello. Yeah. <coughs> How are you? Very well, thank you. I'm chilling out in the um, billiard room here. Um, this is my billiard ball room, um, which is uh, inspired by, of course, the theme of this evening. Oh. Uh, it looks like it's a green screen. I promise you it's not. It's my actual house. <laughs> is that where the actual murder took place? Oh, well, we'll have to find out. Oh. Who knows? Oh. It's all in the solution envelope at the end. It is. Oh. So... Do you know what? As we were um, doing the countdown, there was loads of comments and messages coming in like there usually are. And so many people 
uh, said, I love the Clue or Cluedo theme. So many people were guessing what it was actually going to be. Now, I'm a big fan of this plot. I've, I, I've written effects based on this plot before I've written one for Craig Filosetti that was available with one of his wallets. Um, I wrote a full blown one for uh, my expansion principle and I love this premise. But when we started discussing this and this was about what, five months ago, six months ago? This was beginning of summer. Yeah, yeah. this was um, early summer. Um, your method for this, um, just to me it it just irons out any issues this as an effect has ever had um i've seen people do various cluedo effects and the whole process of selecting people is quite long-winded sometimes quite confusing this is as direct as it gets now I think a lot of people that will be watching this, especially people that have been joining us for the live launches, will instantly know the method. And once they yeah. know the method, they will instantly realize how good yeah. this is compared to other versions of this type of plot that have been yeah, available 100%. before. Yeah, so the so method is like super, super simple. And it's not designed to be a magician fooler by any stretch of the imagination. It's meant to be a commercial effect that will fool audiences. Mm. And I think um, the real magic, the real magic, that's too cheesy. Um, the real beauty of this effect is um, in the details that I think we provided in that little bonus um, thing that we filmed. Because oh, I think like, there's some really nice things in there that I think we put in. I was just going to say. I think that turns this into a, like a little thing, into like a massive thing. Sorry, Harry. Go on. No, you finish what you said. That's what I, that's what I had to say. Oh, I was going to say there are so many extra nuances that are so nice. You know, even I mean we'll dive into it, but even the look of it, you know, there's so many touches. Um, the extra little bits you've got that go with it. It just yeah. it really makes it feel excited, and it's something that you can play so much bigger. You know, you can imagine just setting. I'm not going to obviously say, but imagine just setting it up really this theme and just getting everyone involved. It's so good, so much fun. Well, there, there was one we were filming um, the bonus section, and there was one routine that we came up with right at the end. We were going to stop filming, and for some reason we just kept talking. And I love the bonus sections because they are sort of half. Um, <laughs> Half, structured <laughs> yeah half structured and half brainstorming and yeah, yeah. um we were going to stop and then we just kept talking for some reason and i think the final effect that we came up with or the final presentation to me for a stage effect will be the way to go it, it yeah. was great it's, it's it had, with the boxes without with giving the anything boxes, no no with the boxes with the uh the bits that you put on so there's one spectator yeah. that becomes the the person yeah isn't 100%. it um, yeah massive yeah so the the other good thing about this effect we're gonna hit the trailer soon we're gonna drop the trailer soon but um the other thing that makes this great is one it can be performed close up two it can be performed parlor three it can be performed stage and at the moment, most importantly, it can be performed over Zoom and you lose nothing. Nope. It, it loses absolutely nothing. Yeah, 100%. Um, I think what I'm really excited about this, as opposed to any other release that I've ever put out, is um, I think when we see working pros put this into shows, seeing what they're going to do with it, I think that's going to be awesome. Yeah. Because like yeah. this is great for hobbyists as well, but this is like a professional. This is a whole act. This isn't just a trick. This is a, a really staple part of your show that you can put in, yeah. and you can play yeah. this to a massive theater of hundreds of people, or you can play it as intimate as a restaurant. And I've been working this. Um, I, I will show you my very crude version of it that I, I constructed, gluing things together. But I was performing this um, in the restaurants before they got closed down um, and in my virtual show, and it just kills it. It's, it's a, such a fun routine. It's such a fun trick. Yeah. And it's just going to be great yeah. to see how 
where people go with it. And I will say the props are, I know that all of Alakazam's releases this year, like the props have been amazing, but I think that you've outdone yourself with this one in terms of the props. I think the props are like phenomenal. They just look awesome. Yeah, and the yeah. first time I saw them, I was just so excited to get my hands on them and actually have a proper set, working mm. set. And then some of the, the things that we hid in to, to the packaging and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I just, I just think as soon as people see the artwork and see the props, that makes it just as fun. That's why it's so much fun. It's so recognisable. It's so nostalgic for people when they see it. Yeah, I love it. I think it's great. Yeah. No, I, I totally agree with you. I, I think I shared this with um, Michael Fitch, who joined us on the after show on Contactless, actually thinking it was a party and just turned up online with loads of booze. <laughs> but, but Michael um, is one of the busiest workers in the UK. He truly is close up um parlor he does uh you know presentational bits and i mean he he's great he's got his own stage show and everything else so um but he said to me when i showed it to him he said oh my god i used to do a cluedo style routine on stage and when i showed him this and told him the method he said i i've got to have it i will start doing it straight away it's so much he was using like many people do they use three different false methods and everything else the beauty of this is there is no i'm gonna say there there's is no, no false there's no, there, process. There, there's no there's process. process i'm not using a patio i'm not using an equivocate i ask you for a number and that's the number we as go free with. as it gets it, it's so um yeah, it, it's just so clean, and you can. He, we spoke. I know you didn't speak to him this afternoon, but while we were setting this up, I was on Skype to him as well, and he was just so excited about this routine, even to the fact that he's dug out the old music that he used I, to I was use. There, yeah, I heard him play it. Yeah. yeah. So he had a whole music score that he would set up for his performance. He's dug that out for this, um, so it's great. Well, I think we should well we will before but before we do that guys if you're watching on uh youtube i'm not fantastic at maths but there's um nearly a hundred of you watching there's only five people that have liked it so something doesn't oh. really add up there i'm not 100 percent sure so guys if you are watching on youtube make sure you smash the thumbs up button uh, there you go there's one on there so that's fantastic guys smash the thumbs up button if you're watching on youtube <laughs> there we go yeah it's going up um and, and on facebook yeah, 100%. Share it, guys. Um, and if you are watching on YouTube, then hit the subscribe button because we are going to have loads of content coming out. That's better, guys. Look, 18 now. It's jumping up. That's Guys, as soon as you jump on a video, just smash that thumbs up button, honestly. It helps us out so much and it just lets well, us know that you're enjoying it. we've got 111 people on Facebook. Guys, this means so much. Thank you yeah. for supporting us. That's over 200 people watching yeah. live with us right now. So... That is absolutely phenomenal. And there's loads of thumbs up going up yeah, on There you go. Facebook. Yeah, we're up to 32 on here, guys. Crazy. Yeah, smash the thumbs up, guys. Once we, yeah, we'll go a little bit more. And then once we get a decent amount uh, of thumbs up, because we're nearly at a good amount now, then we'll drop the world premiere of the trailer. Okay, right. any more questions coming in? Um, guys, obviously, after you've seen the, the trailer, if you've got any questions, um, we're not going to expose anything. Um, but... We do believe that most of you will, as seasoned magicians, you will know the method and you'll also understand how amazing this actually is. Um, my, my wife thinks I look for baby products on the web. Brilliant, Phil. Uh, for the RP, truly magnificent from stunning. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I know Laurie was excited about this. It's so yeah, fun. Yeah, I called it for Laurie the other day over um, social media. Um, uh, and, yeah, he he said uh, he was really excited for it as well. 
Uh, Chris, you're not actually allowed to just press it. It doesn't register. You, we've set it so you have to smash the like button. All right. Um, yeah, this is good. We're up to 40 likes now. So I think whenever whenever we're ready, uh, and we're one viewer away from 100 on YouTube as well. So that's fantastic. Oh, that is fantastic. Um, so, yeah, when you're ready, I think we can drop the trailer. Shall we go with the trailer? Let's go for it. Okay, guys. So this is the premiere of Clued Up by the maestro himself, Mr. Jamie Dawes. Well done, Jamie. In 1976, five people attended a dinner party at this manor house, but one of them was murdered. When everyone came down to discover this person, they deduced two things. Number one, they must have been killed somewhere else. And number two, one of the remaining guests must have been the person that killed them. It's down to your spectators to deduce who it was that killed them, what it was they used, and which room this happened in. Welcome to Clued Up. It's based on Cluedo, right? The classic game in which one person's murdered. It happens in a place with an item, all right? Now, just like actual Cluedo, there is a solution envelope. Now, I want you to keep this a very safe, put it somewhere that I cannot get to it, uh, and no one can steal that evidence from you. So here's how it works. You are going to be psychic detectives, all three of you. Each one of you has a different skill. One of you is very good at locations and deciphering locations. Someone is very good at weapons and someone is very good with suspects, okay? So over here you can see that we have some envelopes. We have one pile here where there are four suspects. Ooh. Over here we have four weapons and over here we have four locations. It's going to be down to you to decipher who was murdered, where, and with what. So out of all three of you, who is the one that's best at locations? You. Which number is it? One, two, three, or four? Ooh. That was really quick. Now, are you sure? Yeah. 100%? I'm going to place that on this little stand over here and we're going to have a look at the ones that you rejected. So it didn't happen in the game room, but you didn't feel like it happened in the game room, right? The lounge. It didn't happen in the lounge, the study. And I should also point out, you can see there's nothing else in here. So between you all, you've come up with this outcome. We have a suspect number one, we have weapon number three and location number four. Now, you didn't feel like you were influenced that. That was all your choice. So we have this room, but we don't have any detail in it. So now we can start filling it with some detail. So let's look at our location. The location that you chose was the kitchen, the revolver, Miss Scarlet. So you found Miss Scarlet in the kitchen with the revolver. Do me a favor, open up that envelope. You should see, keep them face down, but there are three cards and only three cards. Is that fair? Good. For the first time, show us the place that this happened. The kitchen, good. Uh, the, the weapon, what weapon was used? The revolver. The revolver, good. And most importantly, who was that suspect that you saw? Okay. Miss Scarlet in the kitchen with the revolver. <laughs> So maybe you were all psychic, really. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, that is Clued Up by Jamie Dawes. I'm sure you guys are going to love that. If you've got any comments about it, 
drop it in. Um, I have got the two sizes here in the artwork, which I'll show you in a moment, because this is available in both sizes. I've just realized actually that I haven't, I'm gonna do it now while Harry has a little chat um, with you guys, but I'm gonna add the perfect parlor stands as a buy together and save, because this routine matches up with those brilliantly. So um, let me put you on so you can have a quick chat with Harry mm -hmm. and I will add the perfect parlor stands to the buy together and save. Um, so um, I just want to quickly say as well, I was lucky enough to be on the instructions with Jamie and um, it's always fun speaking to Jamie because he is so creative and everything like that. And we always just chat about stuff, you know, um, but we come up with loads of just fun, ways to sort of i mean i don't know whether we actually got it on camera so we may have to speak about it in the after show but just dressing it up on stage you know making it bigger getting everyone involved you know making it a real and maybe we can talk about a show you've got coming soon maybe later on in the after show i don't know if we get around to doing that or not but it just really is cool isn't it? it's such a good theme for an effect <coughs> the well i think it can just be like those magicians watching well, like the professionals will instantly see how they can dress this up and make it work and play bigger. Um, the hobbyists will instantly see how um, they can use this on friends and family yeah. and it's going to get an incredible reaction. It's <clears throat> nostalgic, so it's something that everyone's going to regress back into their childhood and remember. So it creates a really, really nice, fun feeling. It's something that's instantly relatable, so everyone can yeah. sort of go, oh, yeah, I remember playing that when I was a kid. Um, the artwork and stuff is really, again, nostalgic. You look at it and you're like, oh, my God, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what it used to be like. Um, so I think for everyone, <clears throat> the method is incredibly simple. Um, but in terms of a performance piece, which is what this is, you can play it to however big you want it, really, and however you want. And it's so fun, you know. Imagine, guys, it's Christmas coming up, you know. You can sit all your family out, um, and you can get each of them to pick a different thing. So you can have um, someone pick, obviously, the suspect, yeah, location and weapon. And it's just, it's so much fun to perform as well, you know. As a, as a performer, you've got really nothing to think about, really, at all, you know. Um, yeah, it's so fun to perform, it's so powerful, and given a few extra props, you know, whether it be funny items of clothing or anything like that, you know, you can really dress it up a lot. We do go into that in the bonus. The other thing that we haven't mentioned is um, the routine is a standalone routine, so you can do it exactly like Jamie just did it there. But the other good thing for anyone that owns uh, either the Amverdi single dice, the set of three dice, the Illuminati dice, the Pro Mystic dice, this, we have got a brilliant routine using this and the dice. So they never ever tell you what suspect they're choosing. They just choose it by rolling a dice and you apparently don't know anything. And um, we got a brilliant stage routine if you've got the free dice, um, which is great because you apparently do not know what spectator um, is choosing what, what number they're choosing and everything else, mm -hmm. yet you can reveal everything. <clears throat> it's very, very strong. So what are the comments that are coming in, Harry? Uh, yeah, so uh, Darren Bain literally, when the trailer was still on, said ordered. Um, so he already got that one, good lad. Um, <laughs> Uh, Naman said, uh, loving it, absolutely. Um, let's have a look. Mark Foster says, nice. It is so much fun, honestly. Um, uh, Sandy, they're all the same size to fit the... Um, so you'll get the same size envelopes, no matter which one you pick. Um, yeah. But it's good as well, because the pro size is big enough that it does make a difference, but when it comes to like an envelope, it doesn't swamp the poker-sized cards. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's not just going to look stupid, a poker size coming out of that. Um, so, so yeah. I've got, I've got the two sizes. That's the pro size there, isn't it, Jamie? Uh, yeah, I do have the smaller one here as well. I love the artwork, doesn't it? It all just pops. So that's the difference in size. If I can bring that in. You've got poker there at the front, and then you've got the pro. Okay, so if this is something that you're looking at performing mm. just close up and carrying it around, the poker is ideal. If you're looking to do it parlor or stage, yeah. 
then um, the pro size are gorgeous. Just quickly as well, Phil McLeod said pre-order. Guys, remember, this isn't a pre-order. It's released now. So as soon as we're in work tomorrow and we're going to uh, go in a little bit early just to make sure we do get them all sent out, um, then it, they'll be sent out then. So it isn't a pre-order. It's released right now. We don't really do that many pre-orders anymore um, on things. because we on like, our stuff. Yeah, on our stuff because we like that you guys get it, you know. So um, Look at that. Look at everything you get in the pack. Yeah. Look, Mick Wilson, there you go. Simple methods allow so much room for presentation performances. Absolutely. Mike's ordered the pro size. Um, absolutely, Jonathan. Well, yeah. I will say, I, I do prefer it in the pro size. Yeah. I do think it, it just adds something <coughs> to the pro size. I think 100%. It, it just, you know, the artwork just pops a bit more. Mm. Uh, I, I'm a big lover of pro size. Just yeah, I, I just love it. It's the only time size, I most probably wouldn't use pro size if it was a normal deck of cards card trick mm. because that would look yeah. like an odd prop. And to be fair, Zena Murders, even though it only does come in poker, but I think Zena Murders poker size, even though it does only come in poker, makes it look better. And that is why we did choose that. So that was an absolutely irrelevant point, really, wasn't it, Jamie? But no worries. Um, Jonathan Brecken was answering somebody <laughs> and said uh, the stands will. Fit, um, absolutely. So the stands will uh, fit for all the sizes. So. That's, yeah, stand fits for all the sizes and they pack down. In the trailer super... we were using pro size cards with the stands. Yeah. Um, Terry Cassidy says, um, <laughs> lovely for Christmas get together. Yeah. Indeed. 100%. 100%. Um, let me have a scroll down here because I'm sure there's loads more. Yeah, Tom Bolton said, exciting. Nice to see you, Tom, as well. Um, Damien just bought poker size. Oh, let me get that one up. Damien just bought poker size, so thank you so much, Damien. And we'll give a few shout outs to people in a second as well. Indeed. Um, Steve Black ordered. Neil ordered. Um, let me have a look. Uh, and Rob Jacks asked if it qualified for worldwide free shipping, and yes, it does. If you place your order, you'll get worldwide free shipping. And also remember, um, if you're placing your order now while we're live, you'll get access to the after show, which will be kicking off at five past eight. Um, and then we'll give you a live unboxing. We'll yep. talk about some of the other ideas we have for it as well. Um, it's one of those routines that, like we discussed earlier, you can do it as a, a nice, simple little close-up effect, or you could build it into a big centerpiece for your stage act. It's, yeah, massively. Yeah, um, it's great. Just... And some of the um, some of the the psychology that we've built into it, um, I, I think we shouldn't overlook that because we've spent a lot of time adding so many things to make it like make the method more fooling. So. If you've seen this method before and you know what it is, at the moment you know what it is. As soon as you watch that bonus section and you see some of the things that we've added on, you'll understand why it's so much more um, fooling and interesting. Uh, yeah. Like with the, we've got the, the Anverdi dice uh, or the, the electric dice, and then we, we have um, a thing with um, like scorecards. Yeah, as well. Oh, yeah. You've got Fantastic. them there as well. Uh, just to answer Tony, yes, the pro in the trailer, Jamie was using pro size with the parlor stands, so the parlor will work for both pro and poker. Um, Jamie, you've got those cards there, haven't you? Because also, when you purchase this, not only do you get obviously the full online video, but you also get some PDFs because you can customize your envelopes. I personally don't have mine customised. Jamie does have his customised. But he also supplies you with the artwork to make a scorecard for one of the routines as well. So, uh, in fact, let me do it on that camera because it's going to pick it up a bit better. So these are, the, these are just printed on normal at-home paper, printer paper. But um, I actually went the extra mile because um, I know that I'm going to be using it a lot. And I actually had them printed up on... Um, really nice card stock um so there's a nice score card there. and this actually helps so much with the method it does an inc like a really clever thing where when they th backtrack. they'll misremember everything that happened yeah there's no way to backtrack there's about three methods that we've built in that means they'll even a magician wouldn't be able to backtrack what's going on by the end of it 
Um, because they'll look back at the scorecard and be like, oh, wait there, yeah, but they, they were in that order. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, oh, and I had an email last night, and I think it's a really valid point. Someone said about it being in English, and they're in Germany. That's great. So what we did was we have supplied you with a, um, a PDF template of the stickers that go on the envelopes that are blank so that you can write your own language on. Now, I understand that the cards have got kitchen and stuff like that, but each one is accompanied by an image, and the image is a universal image. So it doesn't matter which language you're in. If, even if it says um, kitchen, you can just say whatever it is in your own language or have it um, written like on the, on the envelopes, have it written in your language. So yeah. um, suspect one, suspect two. In your and own language. remember, at the end, your reveal is exactly the same cards. So you've yeah. got a, a visual matchup. But yeah, the only thing that, that will be in English is the word suspect, weapon, and uh, location. Yeah. So um, to be fair, you could even stick a sticker over those bits and write it in your own language. Um, and yeah, yeah. your original ones, when you were testing this out, you you done that. You had a pack of Cluedo cards, oh, real I, ones. I had but... actual Cluedo cards that I doctored up, yeah. Yeah. So I bought like two or three packs of... I don't have them. I wish I had them because I'll show you them. I was just looking for them a second ago, but I don't know where I've put them. Well, um, such a but big I, room you're in. I know. It's just like the amount of drawers behind me. This is one of 15 billiard ball rooms that I have here as well. It's a nightmare. Wow. Um, so um, I, um, yeah, I, I doctored it up. So I bought like three or four packs of Cluedo stuff, glued them back to back, designed stickers, stuck the stickers over the top of them, designed the envelope artwork, printed it out so that I have had a working set and I could um, start working it straight away. But it just ended up being a very expensive way of doing it because buying three lots of Cluedo cards <laughs> was really expensive. Yeah. Um, 100%. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Just to give a quick few answers to some people, um, to get the discount on the stands, what you want to do is you want to click into one of the products. So if you see, if you want Cluedo Poker or Pro, um, or if you want to get both, just click on the image to one of them. So it then takes you into the product where you see the description. And then if you then scroll down and click add to cart, it will then pop up with the discounts for the stands and the other version. Um, if you just click add to cart without clicking into the product, it won't give you that discount. Yeah. Um, so make sure you click into it so you can see the description and then you can add them. Um, just quickly as well, uh, Rob, yeah, it's free shipping. Um, any Alakazam product uh, is free shipping. So if you add it to your cart, it won't obviously say um, on the homepage, this product is free shipping, even though we might change it in the future. So it does say that. Um, but if you add it to your cart, look in your basket, proceed, it will have um, shipping free anyway. You will see it on the invoice. And if you are outside the EU, remember you get that off as well. So 20% off. Yeah. Um, so that's all good. I think it's about that time we drop that trailer once more as well, because guys, we've only got about another 25 minutes for you to place your uh, order and join us in the after show. A lot of people are saying they've been struggling with checkout again. Uh, there's too many people on the site. You guys are, are too supportive. That's what it is. But a lot of orders are coming through, so just. Uh, Keep trying, guys. You will get through. Felipe said, free choice. It's so cool. Absolutely. That's why I love this effect, because it's so clean, you know? They say, I want this one, or I don't want this one, I don't want this one, I don't want this one. Whatever way you choose to perform it, that's what happens, you know? There's no weird, okay, you picked number two, so let's spell it out. You know what I mean? It's straight to the point. You want to, that's fine. It's got written on it, number two. So, can't be cleaner than that, can you? Um... Neil no, said, cannot. does he need to order the stands? You don't need the stands, Neil. Um, if you want to order them, they are there on the site, the perfect parlour stands. They are great for this type of routine to make it play a little bit bigger. But the stands are by no means needed for the routine. Um, it's just if you would like them. So I reckon we should drop the trailer again, Jamie. Um, what do you think? Yep. Yeah. Just before that, just really quickly, um, Don Burns said it won't let you say no thanks to the stands. Um, basically, if you when it pops up with the with the uh, discount box it, underneath, and we'll have two little tick box. Um, so as long as you don't tick that, then just click 
proceed or check out or whatever and it'll be fine yeah or no thanks yeah I think if you says. if you want them if you want either the discounted other size or the pro or the parlor stands at discount click the little um tick box underneath it will get blue with a little uh, gray tick in it and then click proceed to check out or check out and then it'll add them in so um yeah as long as you don't tick that box then you should just be able to proceed no worries right so okay here we go mr jamie Dawes with the trailer again In 1976, five people attended a dinner party at this manor house, but one of them was murdered. When everyone came down to discover this person, they deduced two things. Number one, they must have been killed somewhere else. And number two, one of the remaining guests must have been the person that killed them. It's down to your spectators to deduce who it was that killed them, what it was they used, and which room this happened in. Welcome to Clued Up. It's based on Cluedo, right? The classic game in which one person's murdered. It happens in a place with an item, all right? Now, just like actual Cluedo, there is a solution envelope. Now, I want you to keep this very safe, put it somewhere that I cannot get to it, uh, and no one can steal that evidence from you. So here's how it works. You are going to be psychic detectives, all three of you. Each one of you has a different skill. One of you is very good at locations and deciphering locations. Someone is very good at weapons and someone is very good with suspects, okay? So over here you can see that we have some envelopes. We have one pile here where there are four suspects. Ooh. Over here we have four weapons and over here we have four locations. It's going to be down to you to decipher who was murdered, where, and with what. So out of all three of you, who is the one that's best at locations? Yeah. Which number is it? One, two, three, or four? Oh. That was really quick. Now, are you sure? Yeah. 100%? I'm going to place that on this little stand over here and we're going to have a look at the ones that you rejected. So it didn't happen in the game room, but you didn't feel like it happened in the game room, right? The lounge. It didn't happen in the lounge, the study. And I should also point out, you can see there's nothing else in here. So between you all, you've come up with this outcome. We have a suspect number one, we have weapon number three and location number four. Now you didn't feel like you were influenced that, that was all your choice. So we have this room, but we don't have any detail in it. So now we can start filling it with some detail. So let's look at our location. The location that you chose was the kitchen, the revolver, Miss Scarlet. So you found Miss Scarlet in the kitchen with the revolver. Do me a favor, open up that envelope. You should see, keep them face down, but there are three cards and only three cards. Is that fair? Good. For the first time, show us the place that this happened. The kitchen, good. Uh, the, the weapon, what weapon was used? The revolver. The revolver, good. And most importantly, who was that suspect that you saw? Okay. Miss Scarlet in the kitchen with the revolver. <laughs> So maybe you were all psychic, really. That's crazy. Uh, Nick said, uh, payment made finally. <laughs> you can't miss the after show, absolutely. So, um, welcome. Yeah, Phil just said, yeah, it's gone through. 
Um, so guys, if you have purchased it, if you log into your Alexam account and go to the after show section, you should see that there is the holding screen in there for you. We'll be going live in there at five past eight. We're going to be wrapping up um, this live launch in about 15 minutes. Absolutely. Uh, Gunter, yeah, I mean, uh, our sort of European post, we're all sending stuff out, um, and obviously they'll all be sent out tomorrow. Um, I would like to think it would be with you before Christmas. It should. It, yeah. Realistically speaking, it should be with I would you say, next week. Yeah, 99.9% .9 it will be with you next week. But obviously, given the fact it's Christmas, and obviously there's still uh, COVID about, there may be the odd delay, but like we said, 99.9% .9 of the time it should be with you way before. It should be with you next week, yeah, like we said. Yeah. Um, John Han said it's adding uh, shipping charges, and so did Gunter say that. Uh, I wonder. Oh, if I bet it's. The if they had, yeah. So let me go have a look at them. Um, yeah, Mark's just got through. <laughs> uh, Neil Bird said uh, that's another Christmas present sorted for himself. Ordered Pro with stands. Absolutely. Um, la la la. Oh. Um, let's have a look. See. Yeah, honestly, guys, you're gonna love this, and I, can't, I still can't get my head around the artwork. It's so eye-catching, you know. Um, <laughs> Mark's uh, off to take the dogs out quickly. Uh, he doesn't want to miss any of the after show, so he'll see us there. <coughs> Absolutely. Be quick. Five past eight, we think. We'll be on there. Yeah. It'll be good. Um, so Jamie, honestly, how happy were you with the artwork? You wanted it. You wanted it really classic, didn't you? Yeah. Well, we we sort of went off the design of actual Cluedo. So, like I said, if I had the original set here, I don't know what I've done it, with this it. This is quite um, a this is quite a modern Cluedo. Obviously, the original Cluedo, the way I modern. remember it as a kid, was these little plastic figures, but with a human head on yeah. it. Do you remember, like on the images, and you would play with those figures. Um, whereas the set you had felt very nineteen, late nineteen seventies, early eighties in like the the character design. Um, but but that's how nearly all of them are produced now. Right. So in terms of like um, like if you've got a set at home, and it's within the past sort of ten fifteen years, they all look like this now. We've got a haunted mansion set, so we've got like Mickey Mouse and yeah, Donald Duck. So and good, us. so good. Um, no. guys, we will just say, did, did you change the um, shipping on them? Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah, we've changed the shipping, so it should be free shipping, um, no matter where you are in the world. Um, and guys, if you have been charged shipping, um, I can jot down your um. Basically, because obviously I'll be sending the stuff out tomorrow, so I can write your names down and I can refund the shipping in points or whatever. Yeah. Um, but it should only be uh, because of the parlour stand, so that's changed now. Um, yeah. So it should be good. Um, oh, Scott Clark said he's got some ideas uh, for the artwork to make it bizarre. Oh. I see Jamie's ears perk up there. Well, I, I think you could probably play it quite bizarre anyway, I should yeah. think. If you wanted it to be really dark, I think if you just change your presentation, you could definitely make it dark. Yeah, hundred percent. You could you could say, um, have you ever heard of the Cluedo Killer? And what he used to do is he used to find people with the actual characters' names, and he would go and kill them because to him, Cluedo was a real thing. It, to him, it was How his have reality. How you just got that in your skull, man? Because I've got issues, right? But that's what I mean. We can, um, you can, you can make it darker if you really wanted to make it dark. And imagine, and then your end on spirit slates so you could have two spirit slates good and then the ending. end will be all written on there and imagine as well if you draw on them even though the artwork's so good but you do like you know when there's always that little scary thing we do like with biro pen a little like horns on like one of the girls you know what i mean and then like on the man like really scary moustache like really scary big facial hair like this you know what i mean i'm not like, down like this do you know what I, I might do the the end reveal it'd be really cool if they've got a hole in it and you could say, and um, what he used to do is he used to put pictures of people up and he used to throw darts. And whichever one it landed at, that's what he would do. So then at the very end, you have, um, or you could have it on a dart, in fairness. You could take the dart out and you say, um, and this was, these were his last victims. It really was Miss Scarlet in the kitchen. Oh, that's the good. Revolt. 
And how how cool is that? Imagine if you had, yeah, you know, like uh, some people have the glass domes with the rose in it. Imagine if you have one of them glass domes with the dart with three things on it. You just see the back of it the whole time, and they can go over there, take it off like that. That would be so cool, mm. wouldn't it? Yeah, I think it'd be. I, I quite like um, Paul Stockman in his um, DVDs with Alakazam. Funny enough, I think was it called Connected? Yeah, I can't remember what his was called. He's got this wonderful thing for his reveal where he has a tray, like a, a tray oh, with a yeah. candle on. And then the reveal. You could do something like that because if you theme your staging like um, a bit like Morgan and West where they have like the old carpet and the mahogany furniture and stuff like that, if you've got some sort of cluedo esque or um, uh, like a Sherlock Holmes theme, um, I think, uh, yeah, that like the whole staging and the set would look amazing with all of that. Well, the, the whole Who Done It. Whenever you think Who Done It's are my favourite movies. I love Who Done It. Obviously, I don't make a lot of them anymore, but for me, they really do bring me back in time when I watch them and when I play Cluedo as well. As stupid as it may sound, it does sort of transport you back in time because. You always think of the big manor house. You always think of, you know, the big billiard room and the the servants and everything else you've got there. Like, like not as big as your billiard room, obviously, Jamie. Well, na um, naturally. As well, just quickly, um, uh, John, where is it gone? Da -da -da. Uh, I, I can't see where it's gone, but um, yeah, John, if you ordered track shipping, that's why you would have been charged. Um, just because obviously that's not the stats, I upgraded one. So yeah. the track one is track 24. And that's what that would have gone. Um, I think, yeah, we are going to record the after show. Um, and where's the other thing? Oh, it wasn't John, it was JK. Um, honestly, it's so true, Alex. Jamie, isn't it? Jamie is a little creative little... Dynamo. He's a creative dynamo. Yeah. Little munchkin. It's actually been a properly busy year really when, when we think about it yeah i've done what four academies three releases yeah it's been a yeah it's been a really busy so, year and, they, and, productive year. and honestly well. they've all had such great responses i mean every time i mean i'm not lying i would say at least twice a day i had someone ring up and compliment one of either your courses or products and i had a great chat with someone that's getting into pk touches who had watched your course and just wanted a little bit of info on about the d'angelo's um, book and stuff like that so it was really nice to chat about that um, but guys as well if you are still having issues on the site then uh, just keep trying because people are getting through slowly there's just a lot of people on the site at the minute um, and also I will just say um, where is it gone uh, yeah you will be able to watch this live stream later as well as the after show we're going to record the after show obviously you can only see that if you purchase it um, but this one it saves on Facebook does it it does save on Facebook and mm. YouTube I oh believe. it saves on both well, I believe oh, it wicked. does so if you go onto our YouTube there should be a section where you can click across to the lives and it'll, you'll see all of our lives so the Tuesday ones and obviously this one and maybe previous ones um, lovely and yeah everyone's saying the uh, shipping costs have gone now so wicked cool Right, so I think we are going to wrap this up now for the live launch, Jamie. I'm going to play out with the trailer. Guys, you have got yourself 15 minutes to go and order that before the after show happens. If you've never attended an after show before, make sure you're logged into your Alexam account at the time of purchasing. And when you do purchase it, log into your Alexam account. Go to the Alexam after show live i believe it's called and we will be live in there at five yep. past eight with a live unboxing a discussion on the effect we'll also be uh, chatting to you guys there's a chat room there you can ask us questions and then obviously in the after show we'll give you your password so you can access your video and we'll also uh, discuss method and everything mm. else. It will be a total open discussion. Um, just quickly as well, I just see uh, Andrew in the chat. Yeah, um, obviously that's not uh, a shipping issue. Uh, that's because you've ordered um, a book test, which isn't from Alakazam. So uh, if your order consists of basically any order, no matter what it is, if it's in the UK, over £50 is free shipping. Any order that just consists of either academies, downloads, obviously they don't need to be shipped, or Alakazam products, so it's just Alakazam products in your order, free worldwide shipping no matter where you are in the world. 
if you've got an order and you're outside of the UK that includes Alakazam products but also some other products, you will be charged shipping. All right, so the parcel, the order just has to be Alakazam products to get free worldwide shipping. So that's why you haven't got that. All yep. right? Yep. Just to clarify. Okie dokes. So, guys, we are going to wrap this up. Jamie, we will see you in 15 over in the uh, after show party. Thank you for joining also, us, you creative little such a la munchkin. Honestly, one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet, isn't it? Even though he is a bit scary sometimes, he is one of the nicest people you ever meet. Look at his face. I'm scared for him to move his chair because you're actually going to see a victim on the floor, I swear. <laughs> right, Jamie, thanks for joining us, mate. Thank you for bringing it to Alex Sam. And we will see you in a moment for the live unboxing and an open discussion on Clued Up. See you soon, guys. Cheers. <clears throat> right, guys, we're going to play you out with the trailer. Before we go, we want to say a big, big thank you for joining us here on the live product launch. We have, or we will have more product launches in 2021, starting in January. Yes. Also, remember on January the 9th, we have got Leo's Crazy Carousel Day. It's a full day of magic. There's going to be five top lectures. Yep. Um, there's also going to be two dealer dems, one from Alakazam and one from Dynamite Magic in Fantastic. Holland. Fantastic. It's a full day of magic. We're going to have interviews. We're going to have quizzes. We're going to be doing giveaways. Mm. And the tickets at the moment are at the early bird price. I believe they're only nineteen ninety nine. They will be going up to twenty nine ninety nine, And that will be recorded. So even if you can't make the day or you can only make a portion of the day, you will have that video to keep forever. So that is Leo's Crazy Carousel. I hope you can join us for that. But you have now got yourself about 10 minutes before we go Ooh. live in the after show. So pop along to Alex Sam, add Clued Up to your basket, check out, and we'll see you in the after show. 100%. Whilst you're there, add Contactless if you ain't already got that. Um, and also, um, guys, if you are watching on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button because uh, come the new year, we're going to get back on top of the YouTube videos. Yeah. Perfect. Right, that's all from me. Okay. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. It means so much that you all uh, take your time in the evening to join us at Alex Sam Magic. We really, really appreciate it. We hope you enjoy it too. And hopefully we'll see a lot of you in the after show. Mm, see you, see you there, guys. Cheers. In 1976, five people attended a dinner party at this manor house, but one of them was murdered. When everyone came down to discover this person, they deduced two things. Number one, they must have been killed somewhere else. And number two, one of the remaining guests must have been the person that killed them. It's down to your spectators to deduce who it was that killed them, what it was they used, and which room this happened in. Welcome to Clued Up. It's based on Cluedo, right? The classic game in which one person's murdered, it happens in a place with an item, all right? Now, just like actual Cluedo, there is a solution envelope. Now, I want you to keep this very safe, put it somewhere that I cannot get to it, uh, and no one can steal that evidence from you. So here's how it works. You are going to be psychic detectives, all three of you. Each one of you has a different skill. One of you is very good at locations and deciphering locations. Someone is very good at weapons and someone is very good with suspects, okay? So over here you can see that we have some envelopes. We have one pile here where there are four suspects. Ooh. Over here we have four weapons and over here we have four locations. It's going to be down to you to decipher who was murdered, where and with what. So out of all three of you, who is the one that's best at locations? Yeah. Which number is it? One, two, three or four? Four. Oh. 
that was really quick. Now, are you sure? 100%. I'm going to place that on this little stand over here, and we're going to have a look at the ones that you rejected. So it didn't happen in the game room, but you didn't feel like it happened in the game room, right? The lounge. It didn't happen in the lounge, the study. And I should also point out, you can see there's nothing else in here. So between you all, you've come up with this outcome. We have a suspect number one, we have weapon number three, and location number four. Now you didn't feel like you were influenced that, that was all your choice. So we have this room, but we don't have any detail in it, so now we can start filling it with some detail. So let's look at our location. The location that you chose was the kitchen, the revolver, Miss Scarlet. So you found Miss Scarlet in the kitchen with the revolver. Do me a favor, open up that envelope. You should see, keep them face down, but there are three cards and only three cards. Is that fair? Good. For the first time, show us the place that this happened. The kitchen, good. Uh, the, the weapon, what weapon was used? The revolver. The revolver, good. And most importantly, who was that suspect that you saw? Okay. Miss Scarlet in the kitchen with the revolver. <laughs> So maybe you were all psychic, really. 